The driver's hatch was molded in the closed position. However, I wanted to have the hatch displayed open, which was easier said than done. I first had to score around the rim of the hatch very slowly with my hobby knife. However, to speed up the process, I then drilled a series of 0.5mm holes around the hatch. That way I could cut out the piece easier. Once out, the hatch was sanded and glued in an open position. The paint scheme that I had chosen to paint my T55 model in required me to scratch build a turret storage box. Due to the fact the chosen Eritrean paint scheme was a later production variant of the T55, I cut a 156 scale crate to shape. I then cut a piece of 1mm thick sheet styrene to shape as well, which was then scribed and drilled to form the appearance of the stowage lid. Once completed, the part was glued onto the turret.
model was first primed with a coat of brown primer to give a lighter and faded appearance to the top of the turret. I then sprayed a coat of white primer on the top. I first dry brushed over the base colour of Vallejo model colour buff applying most of the paint to the top of the turret. Once that was dry, I then used the lower hull grey buff colour on the turret, which was heavily thinned with the excess paint being removed with a cotton bud. The markings that this model depicts is an Eritrean Army T-55 tank used during the Battle of Sirona, March 14th to 17th, 1999, which occurred during the 1998 to 2000 Eritrean-Ethiopian border war. The only known unit markings of said tanks were a set of yellow dots that were applied on both sides of the turret. I painted these yellow dots freehand using a round head paintbrush in Vallejo flat yellow. As for the stowage on the back of the turret, well, I could let my imagination run wild due to the subject at hand. Eritrea had only become an independent nation in the year 1993. The newly formed Eritrean Defence Force did not have standardised uniforms or equipment when the border war broke out. This would have most likely included things such as backpacks and other such items. So, it's highly likely that civilian blankets, backpacks and other items would have been used instead based on a few reference photographs I have seen from this conflict. So, long story short, I could paint non-military grade packs on the back of this turret using a wide array of Vallejo model colour paints. After finishing the painting on the turret, I could then turn my attention to the completion of the hull.
After taking a look at reference images, I soon realised I was missing some detail on this model. In particular, a bizarre feature of Eritrean T-55 tanks during both the Eritrean War of Independence and later Eritrean-Ethiopian border war. That being the cut fuel drum with a cover made with a loose fitting piece of metal. This bizarre feature appeared in a few reference images and also on one of the three tanks a part of the 1990 Battle of Misawa memorial. As to what purpose this Eritrean People's Liberation Front or EDF modification serves, I have not been able to figure that one out. Like you concerned viewers watching this, I sure hope fuel was not stored in the modified fuel drum. Anyway, instead of getting hung up on trying to work out the true purpose of the cut fuel drum, I wanted to replicate this odd feature in miniature. I first cut out the top section of one of the fuel drums with both a hobby knife and hobby saw. I then shaped a piece of foil baking tray to the shape of the drum, which was then marked and cut to shape. The cover was then attached to the part with a drop of super glue. I was also not happy with the detail on my scratch built turret stowage box, which I then added more detail to. Once it was done, it was repainted using the previously mentioned painting methods. I also needed to make a set of engine deck covers like the ones you can see on screen. I made these covers out of bits of 0.5mm sheet styrene. Once completed, the parts were then primed and painted in the same way as before. The subject of the diorama was to depict a scene in the aftermath of the March 1999 Battle of Sarona, a truly horrific four-day battle which saw Ethiopian infantry and armor divisions launching a frontal assault on the entrenched Eritrean position around the border town of Sarona. A part of the Eritrean defences at Sarona were a number of T-55 tanks in a dug-in position, which is what I will be creating in miniature. For the benefits of most viewers, you will find a brief summary of the events of the 1998-2000 border war in the video description. Now, with that being said, let's take a look at how the diorama was created.
African soil mix was created by mixing together matte Mod Podge glue, acrylic burnt umber paint, and Woodland Scenics fine iron ore ballast together, which was then spread over the diorama. After being sealed with a coat of isopropyl alcohol and diluted Mod Podge glue, and being left out to dry for a day, acrylic red ochre paint was dry brushed over the diorama. For the ground cover, static grass and scenic bushes were glued to the base. As for the figures, well, I had to paint a pair of Tamiya 148 scale Africa Corpse figures into Eritrean soldiers, with special attention being given to the different uniforms worn by their real life counterparts. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get good footage of myself painting them up, but fear not, I do intend to create larger figure and vehicle dioramas in the near future with hopefully much better painting footage. Until then, it's time to say goodbye. Hopefully it has inspired you to tackle more obscure and lesser known subjects in miniature. Good luck with all your ongoing projects. And thanks for watching this video. Here it is, the completed model and diorama. Amen. <laughs> Ahuando, 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 ahuando